Welcome everyone, welcome to another preview. This is Metal Canyon, and this will be a bit of a special preview, because we'll be checking out a game by Jutsu Games called Infection Free Zone. Now, Jutsu Games have uh, developed games like 911 Operator and 112 Operator, which I've done extensive Let's Plays on. You can watch them on my channel. And if you've watched the uh, last part of 112 Operator, well, you know that there was a zombie outbreak. And, well, everything went quite badly. Now, before we begin, I do have to... Uh, warn you that this is a very early build of the game uh, but it is an exclusive look the develop look the developer has given me exclusive access and um, has authorized me to actually publish material from this and uh, so we can take a look at how the game plays how the gameplay is how the sounds music and everything else and I already really like the uh, the main menu here there's no sounds or any music but like i said this is still very very much unfinished so without further ado let's start a new game buildings that can be adapted vary in size their size determines the cost of adoption and the number of people who will fit in them now this is probably going to be quite a bit different from 112 and 911 operator in the case that we won't be sending out emergency vehicles and such but we'll be actually building up a base and sending out scouring parties, scavenging, and so on and so forth. So I'm actually quite excited about that. I do love the world as we know it is gone. What we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements, loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, and the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. To all survivors, your infection is in decline. Seek others and rebuild. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there we could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. My right ear was very unhappy there. <laughs> I think it was... Yeah. There we go. Okay. Operator, this is first squad leader. We made our way out. The neighborhood looks deserted. We'll have to scavenge the nearby buildings for any useful resources. Okay, so this already looks a lot different than what we're used to in uh, 112 and 911 operator. This looks a lot more detailed. In uh, 112 operator, you could also zoom in quite a bit, uh, but you never really got this much detail, like textures and roads and little lampposts and stuff. So this is pretty cool. So we have to look for food. Okay, find something <clears throat> to eat as fast as possible. All right, let's see. Select a squad, scavenge build. Let me first see. Okay, we have to pause first. <laughs> That's what they usually do in these games. Okay, so the the main menu, um, uh, the UI looks quite nice and clean. I like that. Mood good. So that's, I guess, the morale of our survivors. We've or in day one, we've got a day and night cycle. It seems. Uh, you can see that it says sunrise and sunset, which I'm assuming is going to be quite important zombie-wise. Uh, we've got food, 
We've got bullets, we've got metals, textiles maybe, or maybe wood. Uh, there's no tool tip yet. Weapons, food, and cooked food. I guess raw food and cooked food. So, I'm guessing... Uh, well, actually, this would be canned food as well. Maybe? Or maybe th these are bandages. This might be medicine. Uh, so, quite at a glance, this is already quite readable. You can zoom in a fair bit. Not nearly as much as in uh, 911 and 112 operator, but that's logical because, you know, now we're, now we're working on a much smaller scale. But uh, this looks quite nice. I probably would prefer if it was possible to have a slightly angled view. Um, not just an overview like this. Uh, but all right, let's see. So something like this, but just zoomed out. Okay, there's a bit of tearing. Uh, so V-Sync is probably something uh, nice to have later on. All right, structural integrity. This is our headquarters. Create new squad. Living quarters capacity. 40 out of 60. So we've got more people than living quarters capacity? Resources? Capacity. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that, okay, so that is canned food. Uh, wood, basic tools, pistols. Okay, so this is actually going to be... This is sort of going to be um, conglomerated. Uh, height, 11 meters. Surface, wow. Why would you care about height? Maybe for uh, shooting advantage? All right, so let's see. Push to talk. Oh, you can also... All squads return. Can you... All squads, return to base. Can you actually push to talk? Let me see, V? No. V turns on this sort of stuff. And it's already running. Uh, can you control them via speech? That would be quite interesting. Push to talk. Alright, so let's see. Select a squad. Uh, so this Ready one. for action. There we go. We've got four people here. They all have pistols and no armor. Uh, squad one. Okay. So, scavenge buildings for cans. Four found. Press left my mouse button on squad icon to select. Press right mouse button on building to scavenge. Scavenge buildings for searching uh, resources. Going there. English still needs uh, a bit of proofreading. All right. Let's uh, speed this up. Or, well, let's unpause it. And there we go. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? Yes, I can. You can actually see little people running now, which is kind of cool. Before you just had dots and stuff. So we'll wait for these guys to scavenge the buildings. We could, I suppose, make another squad. Reporting. And there we go. We can. Receiving. Going there. I don't know how that works. How many people do we have total? Uh what happens when we create a squad? Does that On your command. Ah, see these guys are now uh just have machetes. On your command. There's a shop here Going that's there. there. I wonder if, um, yeah. Doesn't quite appear to be a limit to this. Found something. Uh, are they already done? On your command. I don't know. Search state 100%. Okay. We're ready. Uh, would be nice to get, like, a, um, tool tip that they're done. Maybe they did, and I'm just clicking too much. Yeah, if I use space, that stops them. Okay. Well, what happened? Oh, I'm pressing space. Ah, I see. Space isn't on pause. Yeah, it is. But it it only unpauses until you lift it. Maybe that's something in the options. On something. And then if you if you do have play enabled, then you press space and uh, it will action. stop. Okay. Let's uh, check Going out this there. pull this out. Can I actually do this? Let me see. Going there. Going no. there. Holding shift down doesn't appear to. Uh, We're on the move. On my way. You cannot appear to give him several, uh... Building clear! Clear! Several things it wants to do. Receiving. And now, by the way, On the way. space works normally. Okay, so Operator. never mind. Roger. Just a bit of a bug. Okay, return collected cans to HQ. I suppose I should do that. Uh, but we also have to check out who has the cans. Waiting orders. So these Ready two. For okay, I'll send them back as soon as they're done. Operator. Alright. Would it be kind of cool if they actually... Clear! Instead of saying... Receiving. Operator, that they would go like, yeah, what do you need? You know, like, a little bit less formal, I suppose. Going there. We're ready. Clear! I'm just nitpicking, of course. Let's bring these back. Clear! 
And I suppose if you push the talk, you can uh, order everyone back. Okay, so we've got some extra cans. Operator. Uh, let's uh, search more buildings then. Going there. So just like before, there's going to be a lot of clicking, a lot of pausing, at least in my case, because you want to... Uh, are in the HQ. There might be some more resources nearby. I suggest we scavenge some more locations. Okay, we'll do that. Great. Any stock will come in handy. Chief, I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let us go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters so we won't spend a single more night underground. Okay. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, so now we have to adapt buildings into shelters for 40 living quarters. Okay, so we do have... Yeah, that is indeed 16 available quarters and we need 40. Uh, right, we should probably build them close by. Clear! Roger. On, On my something. way. Excellent. Alright, so how do we do this? Uh, adapt building, let's do that. Shelter. It's 24. 24 uh, wood to actually do that. Ah, there we go. They're they're bringing uh, in building materials. It would be nice to maybe have like a, like a number over this, which would tell you immediately. Wait, select an abandoned building for adaptation. I already did. Oh, this is probably a bug. Yeah, it would be nice if it would always tell you how many people you still have available. Oh, I can't actually... If I cancel it now... Okay, I see what's going on. When you click build, uh, you can build several... You can adapt several buildings on at a time. Way. This didn't actually cancel the building of that one. Alright. On your command. Found something. Why are they going back? Are they already full? We're on the move. Oh yeah, they are full. Resources capacity, four out of four. I got gotcha. you. Okay, so they're building this. Yeah, I really like how this looks already. There's a shop there. We're gonna Operator. check that out next, I think. Building clear. Would also be very nice if you got like an X over over the buildings that you could do, uh, so you would know exactly On your where you've been already and where you haven't. Going there. Because you can you can see the search state, but you have to click on the buildings. Uh, let's check out the shops. We haven't seen any zombies yet. And we'll see how that works. I wonder if you can still get infected here. You probably can, most likely, but... Clear! Nothing, huh? Darn. We're right. Clear! Chief? If we want to build anything else, we need more resources. Send workers to chop down some trees. Maybe we could build some palisades with that too. I just wanted to say, maybe we can chop down trees. Okay, let's gather some wood. Okay, this is cool. Collect 20 wood by cutting down trees. Alright. These are, guys are going to be doing that. Okay, these are almost done. Oh, these are... Hmm. Yeah. That would, I think, on your having your squads here on the left would be nice and immediately see which ones are on idle way. and which ones are not. Clear. Nothing inside. Ready All right. for action. Uh, these guys are going to be chopping down going wood. There. How do I do that, actually? Oh. Like this. Give orders to citizens. Gather wood. Select the area of work by dragging with that. Ah, so you can just do that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Just... Nice. Okay. I like that. So you don't have to send them to each individual tree. And these guys are done now. Waiting orders. Uh, we'll need more, of course. Um, we've got 33 builds, so we need more. Where is that, actually? 11 out of 40. Oh, citizens. There they are. Squads panel. There's the squads. Ah! Never mind. I'm stupid. I can just click on this and I get the squads. <laughs> and whether they're idle or not. Okay, so, never mind, I'm being silly. Uh, how do we see how much space we have, uh, apart from clicking here? 
Uh, I'm sure there's... That's somewhere. Not available in the pre-alpha version. Okay, that's fine. Right, so let's build another one. Another shelter. Uh, let's build it... Oh, see? Ah, they've got different sizes of quarters and different uh, requirements for wood. That's cool. Well, we've got 26 wood at the moment. Uh, so let's just do this one for now because it's closest. Operator. Wait a second. I've just realized something. I don't think my squad needs to be there. I think the, the the guys from the HQ build it. Yeah. Waiting orders. Yeah, these guys are cutting stuff down. No, Clear. they're not. Again. I'm being silly. Roger. The squads are squads. They don't do work. They scavenge and fight. Jape, there are signs of smoke. It's coming out of a building. I think there might be some people there. I recommend we go and investigate. All right. Let's investigate. What is this smoke? We should create another squad before we investigate. We can't be sure who we're going to find there. So you want to, uh... Okay. Let's do this. You want to do two squads? Uh-oh. They want me to, to make another squad. But I can. Clear! Because I've already done so many. So, um, where is the smoke? Ah, there it is. Okay. Well, uh... Reporting. Oper We're ready. We'll meet over here. We're on the move. Clear. Going there. We'll send them together. Operator. Oh, they've already checked that one. Going there. Yeah, it would be nice if I could hold shift down or control or whatever. And give them several orders at once. Oops. I wanted to drag over both On of your them. Reporting. Reporting. I cannot select both of them at once. Can I do one and Ready two? Ready for action. No. Going. On my... Roger. Yeah, let's do that. Roger. Yeah, I wish these... um. These objectives were a little bit smaller. And, oh, we've almost got sundown. Oh, nice, they found four cans. Very nice. Go back. <laughs> they haven't recorded that. Waiting orders. Alright, so, uh, just... All squads return. All squads return to base. There we go. Just when we were there, darn it. Oh well, that's fine. We gotta be careful. Of course, you know, there's there's not a lot of gameplay yet in this very early build of the game. Sir, the sun is getting low. We don't know what's gonna happen during the night. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Oh, I like that. Everyone should be back in the HQ. Uh-oh, they're kind of... Oh, freaking hell, what's going on? I kind of like this. This is creepy. Get back, guys. Oh, look at this. They got lights. I'm assuming they're going to be pretty lenient right now. Or maybe not. Horde, spotted. Horde. Uh-oh. There it is. Estimated number of infected for dominant type human. Oh, so you got animals as well? Holy moly. Yeah, look at them. Oh, that's cool. Uh-oh, they're moving. Get back to the HQ. Defend it. Will they defend it from the building? So I'm assuming... Zombies or maybe just hordes come out at night? Not throughout the day? Oh, there's more. There's six of them there. It's almost like um, um, what was what was it called? Legend. That that one Will Smith movie. I I can't remember. It was an I Legend. That was. Yeah. Now what happens if they come closer to the HQ, or are we hidden there? It's a shame we didn't finish that building. Yeah. What I wanted to say. It would be nice to have the uh. 
objectives a little bit more compact so they wouldn't take up that much space and the squads panel oops yeah i can't move this uh move this the squads panel to be to not have the border just have this information down here somewhere maybe with a light dark background so it's out of the way i think that would be quite useful um even though you do have this uh, menu here there's food production with a cookhouse We've got production, nothing there yet. Electrical, walls, metal fence, brick wall, wooden palisade. We've got towers uh, and other. Light construction with an elevation that allows you to shoot at enemies. Once built, it must be equipped with weapons and ammunition. An antenna. Huh. Alright, so we've got sunrise in at 4.56, so at 5 in the morning. So four more hours. We could speed things up, but yeah. It gives us time to look at everything else. Um, abandoned. Abandoned. What does it say for that one, then? It just says abandoned. Zombies. Dominant type human. That, that kind of scares me. I like it. Oh, look at that little tiny building. You can also search it. It's like a little shed. But yeah, this is nice. This I like all the details. Alright. Uh, headquarters, warehouse, place where all the pro uh, produced and scavenged resources can be stored. And shelter. Most basic shelter. Man, they're loud. And a farm as well. But I can't build it right, yet, uh, right now yet. Arms factory, fuel factory. Oh yeah, we'll probably get vehicles. I mean, there's just husks of vehicles right now, but I'm assuming vehicles might not yet be in this version of the game yet. Why am I saying yet so much? <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. Okay, so what happens to these? Do they go away? Let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Our guy's already going out. Um, Ready for action. Okay. Roger. Ready. Going. Report. Going there. Ready for action. Well, On let's fight the zombies then. Because I don't want my guys to get attacked. Oh, they went into the buildings. Well, this night was easy, but there are sure to be some infected around here. We should build some defenses before the next nightfall. Okay, build a wooden tower. Agree. Let's build a wooden tower. On my way. Receive. On my way. Waiting orders. On your command. Reporting. Right, let's go to the shop and kill the uh, infected. Operator. Let's see how that works. Excellent. Going there. And these are all in the same place. Going there. On, on my way. Yeah, it would be nice if I could drag and select all of them at once. Well, there's quite a few of them there. Be careful. That is cool. That is cool. I would also like to have a bit more of a... Uh, a bit more of an indication Roger. of what exactly is going Roger. on when they're Waiting fighting. Orders. Reporting. Roger. Oh yeah, I should probably just select this. We're ready. One, two, three doesn't work. Okay, they still do have some ammunition. So we need to build a said wooden tower. So that's down here, wooden tower. Boop. Okay. We've built the shelter. Collect 20 wood, but cutting down trees. Four collected. Wow. That takes a long time, actually. It's probably because we have three squads. Uh, Oper I should Operator. probably... Yeah, exactly. Disband this squad. Because they only have two pistols and two machetes. Uh, but maybe machetes are good against zombies. But I want some more people actually working there. I wonder if they get experience fighting zombies. Op going there. Operator. Yeah, just like before in 112 and 911 operator, I want everyone to converge 
on the same place at the same time because you know I want strength in numbers uh, so yeah grouping them would be really nice chief we found some survivors they've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years we could bring them in but will we be able to feed them I have no idea let's do it bring them in there it's just on your command. I think there's going ooh, there. weapons. On your command. Receiving. I think there's just... Oh no, there's a few survivors. Okay. Well, we do have some canned food, but we need more. We're on the move. We definitely need more. Waiting orders. One pistol. That's excellent. Build a wooden tower. Create another squad. We can do that and then just disband it. So we get through the tutorial. Found something. What did it find? Ready. Ooh, three canned food. Very nice, actually. So let's create another squad. Operator. There we go. Reporting. And then just get rid ready of it. Action. There doesn't appear to be any repercussions for doing that, apart from, well, actually losing those people's time to uh, Waiting orders. actually do things. On my way. Clear. We're on the move. I know they're almost full, but I'm just going to scavenge a little bit quickly. Yeah, I like this. I just need a little bit more um, quality of life things with uh, assigning numbers to these guys. Maybe being able to drag. Receiving. Oh, nice. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. There's still stuff there. Receiving. And there as well. Okay. Yeah, definitely need some sort of check marks. Like, there's still something here. And crosses. So you know that um, you've already uh, scavenged the place. Okay, so... Select weapon uh, to assign workers. Okay, so it always has to assign workers. That's nice. I wonder if the two assigned workers only work there at night or do they work the entire time? Why is no one chopping trees? Oh no, they are. They are. There they are. Yeah, that would also maybe be nice to have a number over this uh, icon saying how many can be employed cutting down trees or maybe just how many are cutting down trees at the moment. So we've got here citizens panel, research window, laws window, and weather forecast. That's awesome. That's going to be cool. Uh, how many, how much capacity? We need a little few more living quarters now already, I suppose. On your command. Uh, well, it is getting dark, so I'm probably not going to go there. We can check out a going few there. more places here that we haven't yet, because they're right next to our headquarters. I wonder if there's a resources view. Ah, ah, okay. Uh, I keep complaining about that. There we go. But instead of just not having anything on them, maybe uh, going there. Maybe a little check mark or something would be nice. But there we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the usual me. I keep complaining about not having stuff, but going there. I didn't actually try the whole UI expedition view. Not available in the pre-alpha. Okay. I also like the fact that when they're full, they automatically go back. So it uh, takes off some of the workload for them, yeah. Alright. It's gonna get dark. So we gotta get back as soon as they're done. Reporting. Clear. Building clear. Alright, everyone back. All squads, return to base. <laughs> eh, 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 klaxon. So what do we have here? What? We haven't searched this yet. Why does it say there's food there? Probably because it's a shop. There's stuff here. Let's see. Oh. Sir, it's almost nightfall. We can already see some infected coming out of their lairs. Okay. Get ready to defend the zone. So they do have lairs. That's creepy. Oh, there's a school here. So research stuff. Kill off the hordes. Zero, zero out of one killed. Right, where are they? Don't see anything yet. That is a massive city. That's massive. I wonder... Because they probably... Do this after real cities. Oh, there it is. I wonder if it's going to come closer. Oh, no, there's another one. 
Oh, 18 infected dominant type human, and they're all going straight for us, it seems. Alright, so what is the tower gonna do? The tower is gonna fight, but Operator. will these guys fight from the building? Or do I have to get them outside? I have no idea. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're already firing. Excellent. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I know it's not realistic, but I would appreciate maybe a tracer round or two every now and then. I mean, it's not realistic because they probably wouldn't have tracer rounds. Uh-oh. Will they be able to defend this building? From there? Let's see. Oh, where are they going? They do. Oh, nice. Nice. So far, so good. I, you know, I really, really like this sort of uh, gameplay type. Uh, you have a limited amount of time throughout the day to scavenge and do things, and then at night you have to, you know, uh, barricade and defend yourself. I really enjoy that for some reason. Oh, there they are. They're waiting for our woodworkers. That's not good. Come on. Yep. Come closer. Exactly. Because we're not going to go there. What's our ammunition? Uh, like resources? Oh. I guess they have unlimited ammunition here. Wait. Oh, here. Nice. It doesn't appear like the... Um, we've got three bullets left. It doesn't look like the sound from the gunshots actually attracts any more zombies. So I suppose that's that's good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We're going to continue this. There's, like I said, there's, uh, they say there's about 60 to 90 minutes of gameplay so far. But we're going to continue in the next part just so that the videos aren't too long. And uh, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my Patreons for all of your support to make uh, more of this possible. And also a big thank you to Jutsu Games for uh, contacting me about this and yeah, allowing me to show you all the gameplay from this upcoming infection-free zone. I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.